Hi, welcome to my channel. I'm a mother, but I also happen to be an optometrist practicing in Ontario, Canada. In today's video, we're going to talk about a topic of high concern for parents, and that is, are screens and devices causing my child to need glasses? If you want to learn the truth and the myths about this topic, stick around. When we talk about a type of refractive error or a need of glasses that tends to climb as a child grows, we're mainly referring to myopia or nearsightedness. Now I'm going to use these two terms interchangeably in my video. Nearsighted people have no trouble seeing close up, but they do struggle with seeing things that are farther away. Myopia is generally when the eye is too long, such that when they look at farther objects, the image focuses in front of where it should in the back of the eyes, causing blur. So what causes nearsightedness? Number one, genetic predisposition. There's ample evidence showing that inherited characteristics play a significant role. Although it is possible that two parents having nearsightedness can have a child without it, in general, the chance of a child having nearsightedness is increased when one or both parents have it. Heredity alone, however, does not fully account for the dramatic increase of myopia worldwide in recent decades. If the trend continues, it's predicted that more than half of the world will be nearsighted by the year 2050. Furthermore, multiple epidemiological studies have shown and confirmed higher prevalence of myopia in Asian countries. Although we can't do much about genetic predisposition, our question is, what environmental factors can cause the increase of myopia? When it comes to environmental factors causing myopia, with recent research, there are two factors. Number one, hyperopic defocus. In simpler terms, it is viewing objects up close for excessive amounts of time. When we view objects up close, it causes greater blur on the rest of our perceived surroundings. Here is a photo comparison for you to understand this effect better. The blur signal detected by the peripheral part of the back of the eyes can cause the eye to elongate, translating to increased levels of myopia. Hyperopic defocus is less pronounced when we are outdoors because we tend to look at farther things when we are outside. So at this point, some of you may be saying, so the iPad is causing my child to need glasses. Yes but so is the reading of books and the doing of homework and studying. Before we talk about specific recommendations, let's talk about the second possible cause of myopia. The second environmental factor that can be causing myopia is the lack of exposure to sunlight and its protective effects. It has been suggested that sunlight has protective effects against myopia developing in children. Although the mechanism is not yet clear, it is believed that sunlight can induce the production of a neurotransmitter called dopamine in the brain, and this in turn can keep the eye growth in check. Now that we have an understanding of what causes myopia or nearsightedness, here are my recommendations. As parents, we should balance the time our child spends doing near work with time spent outdoors. According to the research, children should be spending 90 minutes a day getting a good dose of sun. Of course, make sure to practice good UV protection with hat, sunscreen, and sunnies. You may have heard of the 20-20-20 rule. The rule states that for every 20 minutes spent on doing near work or using screens, we should look 20 feet away for 20 seconds. This is a rule that can apply to everyone, but is especially important for children. When the child is doing near work, make sure that the material is not right up their face. Try to encourage them to hold the material at at least an elbow's distance away for their eyes to focus a little bit more easily. 
have your child's eyes checked annually or sooner if the child or a caregiver notices vision problems. If you're in Ontario, make sure to take advantage of the government covered yearly eye exam for children who are 19 years and under. In conclusion, the rise of myopia seems to be linked with the increased amount of near work that children have to do these days. We can't tell them to stop reading, studying, or avoid technology altogether, but we can balance the amount of time that they spend indoors versus outdoors. As well, we can help them develop better habits as they do near work. These are going to be key to helping them prevent their eyes from getting worse. If you have questions about topics relating to eye health, please feel free to comment in the comment section below. If you like videos like this, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so that you won't miss the next video. Until then, I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Hi, Hi. Good. Are they trying to hang again?